YouTube so today I'm showing you my full coverage foundation routine Um, I like a full coverage matte look because I do have oily skin so this um, foundation routine is based around oily skin Um, it works perfectly for me and I just I, it works so well so yeah if you want to see how I get my um, my makeup like this and sorry the light keeps changing my makeup like this then please keep watching okay so the foundation that i use is the revlon color stay um i have a little bit of fake tan on today so i'm going to be mixing my two colors that i mix when i'm wearing fake tan which is 330 natural be or natural tan which is the darker one and 180 sand beige which is the lighter one which is the one that i wear just by itself and i have no tan on so i'm just gonna start i apply it first with my finger so I just get a wee bit on my finger and do that. And then a wee bit down my nose and on my chin. And then a little bit of the darker one, which is starting to run out on me. Because they have no pumps, which is one thing that I really don't like about them. I have two brushes that I kind of alternate around using. One is the Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki, which I really, really love and I have been using for the longest time. And the other one is Real Techniques Buffing Brush, um, which I've been loving lately. So I'm going to use this one today, but I do alternate between the both. Um, to be honest, they both kind of give the same results, but I'm just going to use this one today because I've been really loving it. And excuse me, I haven't cleaned it in a week <laughs> yeah I'm lazy anyway so I just buff it in to my skin in circular motions and try to get the colors as evenly mixed along my skin as possible And I do have oily skin, so this is the per like the most perfect foundation if you have oily skin. I really, really compare to the MAC um, Studio Fix. It's really good for oily skin, but it's, it's quite expensive and I really can't see a difference between the foundations. So I um, really recommend this if you have oily skin. They also have um, this foundation in one for um, dry skin. Now I don't know if it's any good or not because obviously I have complete opposite skin type but um, ha have a look I'm sure there's reviews on here of it but this is literally my all-time favorite foundation for a flawless full coverage finish and you can really build it up as well which is the nice thing about it okay so for concealers I kind of alternate between two again which is my MAC uh, Pro Longwear Concealer which I really really love I'm in NC15 and my also my collection 2000 um, Lasting Perfection 16 Hour Wear Concealer and I'm in Fur 1 because I use this to highlight under my eyes um, so yeah, I, today I'm going to use um, my Lasting Perfection Concealer by two, uh, Collection 2000. This one is so, so inexpensive and it's really good and it's so easy to blend. So what I do is I just get it and draw two triangles underneath my eyes to highlight. Some people really don't like highlighting and that's completely fine. Um, but I actually I really really like the effect that it gives. So um, if you don't like highlighting, just get get a concealer the same shade as your skin, and you'll be fine. Um, I also kind of alternate between two things that I blended out with my all time favorite beauty blender, which you basically can't go wrong with, and my um, Real Techniques Expert Face Brush, which I really like for going underneath. But I'm going to use my beauty blender just because it dreams it out or blends it out so nice. Um, so I'm going to use that just to blend it out. And my battery is flashing at me, so I hope I get this done before my battery runs out. I just bounce it off my face, and it just blends in so nice.
Okay, so to set under my eyes, I use the 17 um, Define and Conquer Contour Kit. And I use the lightest powder and I just get a wee uh, fluffy brush and put that under my eyes just to stop the concealer from moving. And I find by using this um, this colour especially, um, it doesn't darken down my concealer at all. So I still get that lovely highlighted effect. And down my nose and on my chin. To set my whole face, because I love a matte finish because I do have oily skin, I'm using my Rimmel Stay Matte um, in Transparent. This is an all time favourite. I li literally use this every day. Oh, and I use my Real Techniques powder brush just, which I also really like to apply because it's lovely and big. And I just apply it all over my face. To bronze, I then use my NYC um, Smooth Skin bronze, Bronzing Face Powder in Sunny. This is so inexpensive and it's, it's so gorgeous. And I just use it on a big fluffy tapered brush. So I just put it on the points where the sun would hit my my um, skin. So I put it along my cheeks. I don't contour with this, I just simply bronze up my skin. Along my temples. And who doesn't want sun kissed skin? And that's pretty much what I do with that. Then to contour, I use my Hula Bronzer with an angled brush. Just put it in, suck my cheeks in. Now it's time for blush, which is the last part of my actual face makeup. Um, I have been absolutely loving Max blush in Stubborn. Like how gorgeous is that color? And I use the Real Techniques um, blush brush and just put it on the apples of my cheeks and then blend it backwards so I'll, I'm going to go do the rest of my eye makeup and stuff and then I'll be back um, to say okay so that's the rest of my face makeup done I just use my MAC palette to do my eyeshadow which I'm I really have been just in love with I forgot to do my highlighter and the highlighter I've been using is my Mary Lou Luminizer by The Balm and I use my Real Techniques 300 um, I think it's like a tapered blush brush to put this on so I just get a wee bit Shake it off and put it onto the top of my cheekbones like that. I don't know if you can see but it gives the most gorgeous glowy look. So this is my face makeup, um, my foundation routine. Um, I think it's, uh, I would call it a pretty full coverage foundation routine. Um, sorry the light's changing so much. Pr pr a full flawless, or a full coverage flawless um, foundation routine. Um, I really really like it and it is perfect if you have oily skin. So yeah, please thumbs up this video if you like it. Sorry the light is changing so much. Um, but yeah, thumbs up the video if you like it and please remember to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!